Today I'm going to show you how to trim a bowl, a foot on the bottom of this bowl. I showed you how to make the bowl prior. Now we're going to trim a foot on it. As you can see here by the example I have, it looks much different than this. Is here. We're going to clean up this excess clay. That's why we made this a little bit thicker, if you remember correctly. And we're going to add a foot onto it, as you can see here. It looks like it's thrown as one piece. Let me demonstrate how to do this now. Okay. What you're going to do is, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the bowl and find out, make sure it's ready to be trimmed. A bowl should be nice and firm and should not be tacky to the touch. If it's still tacky, you can't trim it. What I do is I take my needle tool, I'm going to poke a hole in the very bottom of the bowl, and I'm going to, until it pokes through, and then I take my finger, I'm going to pull it away, and that's how thick the bottom of my bowl is. All right, that's how thick it is, which I want it to be. Take the tool, kind of clean up the hole a little bit, and I'm good to go. Then I take, now I look at where the width is in here, where it's beginning to curve up. That's why I'm going to poke it with the tool again. That's where the inside of my foot is going to be. So it pokes through. Okay, good. And then I clear it up in the inside. Now I put it directly onto the piece here. Now where I poke through, I take my needle tool and just make a little mark. So I kind of know that's where the inside of my foot's going to be. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center the clay on the wheel. When I have it pretty much, I kind of eyeball it on onto the piece to see exactly where it's going to be as close as I can get it to be. All right? Now we watch me when I spin the wheel, it's not going to be very much on center. See how it kind of has that wobble to it? We have to tap it into place. You can, if you really want to, find the center of your bowl, take a ruler and measure and find the center of this, then line it up as best you can. If you practice this technique, it'll go very quickly and just take a little bit of time to do it. I put my right hand on top of the bowl, I use my left hand, I wait for that wobble to come around and I kind of tap it. Until so you can see now the inside center. Now it looks off center up here because I have a bunch of extra clay. What, how you can really make sure you want to know it's centered, wherever you did that little mark was, I draw a little line. And I can tell by looking at it, yep, it's centered. So I have all this extra clay here on the side. So I know it's nice and centered on the bowl. I know it looks a little off, but I have extra clay. Now once you've got it all marked, I'm then going to take this extra clay I have and I'm going to wedge it around the piece of the bowl doesn't go sliding off. How that works is this. I put it in the shape of a triangle. So I make a little wedge of clay. I put it here. I put my left hand on top and I press down onto the wheel head, but it, it kind of spooshes up back into the bowl itself. Same thing again. And then one more time in the front, and then get it into a shape of like a, press it in three spots. Try to make it in the shape of a triangle. And then you kind of test it, make sure the ball's not going to know where it's ready to go. Then I'm going to take this uh, ribbon tool here, it's pear shape, and I'm going to trim it off. You always have to hold the tool in your left hand. The reason why is the clay is going this way. If I try to hold it here, the clay, your, your tool's going to go this way around. Always hold it with my left. I can brace it with my right if I want but it, it makes it easier to do this way. So I can hold it with two hands like this, brace my body, and I begin to trim the clay off. Now I go off at an angle onto the side of the piece. I don't want to go directly straight in or down. I kind of angle the clay off, and I begin to brace it, and I begin to trim off the excess off the side. So I get to where my line is. The clay should just come right off in little pieces like this. In England, they call it cheese pieces, or like cheese hard, is what we're trying to get it to be. Once I've trimmed it off, I'm then going to take the piece, I'm going to push down a little bit, and make the, make the, start making the foot, as my example here shows you. The foot is right here. So I kind of take my tool, push down a little bit. I clean it up so I have a nice even body. I'm trying to remember what the inside looked like and make the outside match up to it. And that's kind of what I've done here. Okay, and once I've done that, I'm now going to trim on the inside. Now I reverse my tool and I'm going to make a foot, so I'm going to go a little bit in inside that little tool, that little spot where I stopped at. I'm going to slowly carve away towards the inside of my piece. I kind of put the tool at an angle. I don't have it straight down, it's at an angle. 
that matches the shape of what your bowl is going to be doing. So trim more off here and then trim a little less towards the middle. So I'm trying to get that raised round shape of the bowl. Go up again on the outside, make sure both the lines match. And there we go. Now with the foot, the last thing you're going to do after you trim the foot on the bottom of your bowl is you see all these, I don't know if you can see kind of close to these, there's little chatter lines all over the piece, all over the clay. That's from the metal tool. So I use is my little uh, wood, uh, wood, rubber rib to kind of smooth these out. I can make sure it's slightly damp, spin the wheel again, and I just go over with my rib and smooth out where I was trimming. And I do the same thing on the inside of the bowl as well. Okay, just smooth it out, compress it in. That also looks good for compressing the clay in a little bit. Make sure it's nice and clean. I kind of clean up my, my foot a little bit more there as well. Once I am done, stop the wheel. See how everything's nice and blended together. I can also take my finger here and just drag it across on both the inside and the outside of the piece. And it looks like I threw it that way. Somehow I miraculously made it that way. It's a miracle. Pull the excess clay away. Pick it up. And you should have a nice foot trimmed on the bottom of your bowl. And you're good to go. Now what I usually do is I tell kids now before you sign it, now's a good time to sign it. You can put your chop into it, whatever you want to put in. And that's it for the bowl. And also make sure you take a sponge, I forgot to mention, and smooth out the lip as well at the top. And that's a bowl.